So what's going on guys, it's JMXP Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So, current IBF Worldweight Champion of the World, Errol Spence Jr. recently did an interview on Sway in the Morning, a radio show in the United States. And basically saying in this interview he wants to fight, WBC and WBA champion Keith Thurman. He's wanted his fight for a while, Level Spence. Even before he beat guys like Chris Algieri and Lennon Bundu, he was calling out Keith Thurman, but Keith Thurman was saying he wasn't ready, that he needed to go out and beat someone. But he did that on May 27th when he stopped Kell Brook in front of 27,000 people in Kell Brook's backyard. And Keith Thurman hasn't done that. He hasn't travelled and beaten someone in the backyard. Neither has Manny Pacquiao. Neither has... Um, Oh, what's his name? Danny Garcia. And Evel Spence did what no one else has done so far. Picked up a world title in someone else's backyard. And now he's saying he wants the big fights with the other champions in the States. And in my opinion, the winner of Keith Furman and Evel Spence would be the number one world weight in the world. And Evel Spence is basically saying that he knows that Keith Furman can be knocked out. He's been knocked out in the amateurs and that Keith Furman fades in fights. And to quote him here, he says, I can knock him out. If I hit him with the right shot, Keith Furman, he's been knocked out in the amateurs before. I've never been knocked out or dropped in the amateurs. He's been dropped and knocked out in the amateurs. Everybody knows that. He can be knocked out, it's been proven. And he's also talking about Keith Furman fading in the Danny Garcia and Robert Guerrero fights. He says, with Garcia, I saw he faded just like he did with Robert Guerrero. He faded in the later rounds and started moving around the ring. In the first half, he was doing great. I didn't think he would come out at Danny Garcia the way he did in the first few rounds, but he did. In the later rounds, I guess he got tired and started running around the ring. He really didn't fight the last four or five rounds. Danny should have picked up the pace, but he didn't. And that is true. Like In the last few rounds against Danny Garcia in the later half of the fight, Keith Furman just kind of coasted. Like He just thought he did enough to win the fight and that he had already picked up enough rounds so he made the fight really tight on the scorecards that one just didn't even give him the fight it was a split decision victory for him so Errol Spence here saying that he wants to fight Keith Furman and props to him for wanting these big fights because he's a champion he's just became champion and he already wants to fight the top guys in the division why not he wants to get them bellies and Keith Furman is a belly that he's looking at right now and the winner of that fight will be the number one world weight in the world and I know people are going to say Manny Pacquiao but in my opinion of, as of June 5th 2017 Manny Pacquiao isn't the best world weight in the world because since he was beaten by Mayweather in 2015 he's four guys like Timothy Bradley in a third fight like that was very unnecessary and then he fought Jesse Vargas and in my opinion isn't a top level fighter well he is but he isn't an elite level fighter like he's a world class fighter but not elite and now he's fighting Jeff Horn who's about as known in boxing as my nan in Australia off for a load of money so no Manny Pacquiao isn't the best world weight in my opinion in my opinion, the winner of Spence, Furman is the best world weight. And yeah, you got the other guys like Sean Porter and Danny Garcia roaming around. They wanting their shots as well. And who knows what Kel Brook's going to do. I think Kel Brook might even be moving up to £154. So, yeah, that's a fight I really want to see. I want to see Keith Furman and Errol Spence. I think Keith Furman is a very good counter-puncher. And I think... Errol Spence will need to be careful just jumping in and trying to get on the inside against Keith Furman because Keith Furman can counter punch very well and I think he has better footwork than Kel Brook he has better movement and he's a little bit more slicker than Kel Brook he's slicker but Errol Spence as we all know when he gets on your and he gets on the inside and starts putting that pressure on your and then them hard shots because he isn't a massive one punch knockout artist Errol Spence he's one of these guys who just bludgeon you to, to the pressure that he's putting on you he'll just break you down and just kind of bludgeon you to the ground he's not going to knock you out with one big punch and knock you flat out he's just one of these guys who's just going to break you down on the inside and break your heart so yeah Keith Furman Errol Spence is this a fight you want to see Keith Furman is currently out with an injury he's recently had 
surgery on his elbow like if you've seen it on his social media he looks like he's got a rainbow on his elbow because it's just all bruised and all purple and yellow and stuff like that so who knows if Keith Thurman will be back this year but hopefully he is but I don't think we'll be seeing this fight till early next year but it's a fight I'm very interested in seeing so yeah comment below in the comment section what do you think of Evel Spence saying that he'll be able to knock Keith Thurman out it's JM it's beatboxing